Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time, we're getting it all in zero degrees. A fun yet simple platforming game developed by Nerd Games, Kiddo Dev, also by East Asia Soft, who also published the game. Now it is available right now as the standard price for £4.19, but as of this recording it's actually on sale for three thirty-five. so get it and grab it near. So, if you played the basic platformer, i.e. go from one side of the screen to the other, try not to hit spikes and cause an almighty DEATH inside of you, then this is no different. It's still fun, but it is as platformy as you can expect from a platformer. Now, achievements wise, all you need to do is literally beat all 40 levels for every achievement and then it's job done. Now, a lot of the levels are easy, but some later on may give you a slightly inconvenient headache, but that is why I am here to help, is it not? <laughs> But you'll be looking at, at around potentially sort of 40 to 50 minutes, maybe a little bit more to complete the game. It really does just depend on the deaths, etc. Also, I won't be speaking much through the video, only when there's a new mechanic to sort of explain as is with platforming. It's honestly easier just to watch the video rather than me yammer on over the top of it. <laughs> so with that being said then, let us begin. So we've got all 40 levels then to beat, shouldn't take you too long, so we've got the A button to jump, very easy, we're just going to head towards the other side, and congratulations, you win! You are friggin' awesome! Uh, you can pause and uh, pause the game with the pause button and reset with the back button, that's pretty standard in most games as well. A um, couple of tumors are going to start popping here. Now for a lot of the time, um, you're going to see... I don't know, they're like diamonds with a whole lot of electric static stuff going on in there. You actually need to collect that before the sort of portal opens up. So that is definitely one of, that is one of the ma main mechanics of the game. Um, a lot of these green buttons you'll need to put blocks on. And we get a little shooting ability in just a bit as well. So you'll be able to shoot blocks onto things. Um, just to open up doors and move platforms etc. Uh, same with this one there, just push the block down, put it on the green button, which kind of looks like a big nibble, and then uh, push the other block to the right to end this level. Big nipple. Oof, if you've got a big green nipple, go to a doctor. So, you've got to press the right bumper to shoot ice blocks, and the right use the right stick to aim. Uh, very easy enough. There's nothing that is too difficult about this at all. Um... When you're stacking blocks like that, though, because they're frozen, they do move. So just be careful with that one. Um, but again, that's as long as you're not sort of putting four or five blocks on top of each other at a time, you should really have no issues. You only get five blocks per level as well. So, you know, just be careful with it. Make sure not to overuse it before you get to the end. Otherwise, you'll have to, again, mine very minorly, inconveniently start again. You can jump up on three blocks, by the way. Shoot your last blocks on L Green and Napoleon dy Dynamite right here, and move on again. Same sort of thing here, we just need to shoot it through the hole. <laughs> that means do things. And then what you can do with it is just shoot it at the wall so it um, goes down f uh, square and flat, which is what you need. You don't need one of your blocks on an angle because that will not go down so well, and you'll screw yourself up. So again, as it, again, as is the normal platforming games, you sort of breeze through the first sort of 10 to 15 levels, and then it gets t a tiny bit more difficult. There are some spikes. Obviously, you don't need me to tell you. Avoid the spikes, otherwise death occurs, and nobody likes to die. It's not a personal pre it's a personal preference of mine anyway. I don't know about you guys. So yeah, that is basically it's sort of for the first 10 levels we are going to get to a point where we can actually freeze the blocks into a place um into place as well so if you shoot it at the wall you can actually freeze the blocks but for the time being um just keep slamming through the levels again just make sure to place the blocks where i do and probably do it even a little bit better <laughs> than i can but just uh, keep watching and hopefully you will gosh damn enjoy
Everybody, I'm back. 
Uh, so you've got these green bars to sort of contend with. Now, again, there's, there's really not much that goes on with these green bars, to be honest. You can just shoot uh, a block through them, but obviously try not to be on top of a green bar when there are spikes at the bottom. So jump, shoot down uh, for us to open up the doors. Don't press the right bumper when you're on one of those green bars, as long as it's not on one of the spikes, that's all. Um, shoot your blocks down at the spikes. Uh, grab the bit of electronicity and then we can finish the level. But that's all the green bars are. Again, they are not that difficult in the slightest as long as you sort of know what you're doing. Uh, but this level then, if you want to go down without shooting a block, shoot a block to the right first so it opens up the doors at the bottom. Jump on the green bar and then press the right bumper once. And then that should just get rid of the top bar and not the second bar, so you can be on your merry way again. So that's the right bumper when you're on top of the green bar to get rid of the first one. And Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, all that jazz. Let's finish this. So then, for the last 15 levels then, you, we can now freeze ice blocks. So as soon as you press the right bumper to shoot out an ice block, press the left bumper basically straight after it, and it shoots out this sort of, I don't know, kind of white semen-y ice bag looking kind of thing. That's going to freeze the block in place, uh, enabling you to move on. So right bumper and then basically left bumper straight away, freeze that in place. And that is basically it. So you can do it at the top here. Shoot it at the top. Make sure to press the left bumper as well. And that will, like I said, freeze the block into place. And pff, job's done. Not much more to explain than that. And if you want some extra explanation... I can't. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, but this next level, this this may take a few uh, attempts to get used to basically what you have to do to cross any sort of gaps and uh, chasms like this. Um, you need to shoot a nice block at the very top, as soon as we can get there of course. And then you need to um, bring your reticle down and then shoot some ice at it to freeze it into place basically in front of you. So shoot it, bring the reticle down and then press the left bumper there to sort of freeze it into place. So. It's not too bad, but it may take you sort of one or two attempts just to get used to it. Because uh, you need to be quite quick with it. Other than that though, it is all gravy, baby.
Now this next level is probably the biggest pain in the ass in the game, so what we need to do is shoot a nice block down first, uh, make sure to hit the, the button, and then we can head on up. Now this is the biggest pain in the butt, because obviously with our spinning fans, our little reloading sections there, we need to be able to sort of basically create like an ice stairway, if you will. Um, so sort of shoot one at the top, try and get it so it's a, a little bit um, below you again. Uh, try and use up all of your um, sort of blocks first before obviously you reload if you can. That just makes life a hell of a lot easier for you. Um, 
But yeah, that is all we do when we're trying to just create this ice wall. Um, you can sort of put one at the top as I just did there. That'll make it easier in just a little while. Um, and it's probably best then to sort of uh, try and stick a couple. You, what you don't want is to be using all your blocks now to get back up. So make sure you've got at least two left and that you've got already sort of one or two blocks where I am now. Um, so it's, it's a kind of difficult one to explain and to get right. It did take me about 10 minutes to try in. Um, but you should be okay from there. And level 40 is pretty much straightforward. Woohoo! And there we have it then, guys and gals. So that was Zero Degrees. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. I ho also hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If the guide did help, of course, don't forget to uh, hit smash, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Leave a comment and make sure to share with a friend as well. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, all links provided in the description below. A big, big massive thank you and big shout out to everyone on Patreon for continuously supporting the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. But thank you very much guys and gals, you're all legends. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.